Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, you can find links in the description box to watch these videos. And if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe our channel, and press bell icon to get notifications, when we post video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain, what is the difference between guided wave radar level measurement technology and non-contact radar level measurement technology. So, after watching this video, you will have clear understanding about both technology. First of all, let's learn the basic operating principle of guided wave radar technology. Guided wave radar technology is based upon the principle of time domain reflectometry, which is an electrical measurement technique that has been used for several decades in various industrial measurement applications. In time domain reflectometry method, a low energy electromagnetic pulse is guided along a probe. And when the pulse reaches the surface of the medium being measured, the pulse energy is reflected up the probe to the circuitry, which then calculates the fluid level from the time difference between the pulse sent and the pulse reflected. And the transmitter can output the analyzed level as a continuous measurement reading through its analog output, RS-485 communications output, or optional switching output depending on output options required. Guided wave radar technology also has the ability to measure a liquid interface. A liquid interface is the ability to detect the top liquid level of the media as well as the interface level or level of the media that is below the liquid level, which contains a different dielectric property or physical property than the top liquid level being measured. A typical application would be an oil and water interface, in which the oil being of a lighter specific gravity, and lower dielectric than water. So, oil would be measured as the top liquid level and the water would be the interface level. Now, let's learn, some of the advantages of guided wave radar technology. Guided wave radar level transmitters are able to accurately measure both liquid and solid media. And changes in viscosity, density, or acidity does not affect its accuracy. In addition to this, this technology is not affected by agitated surfaces such as boiling liquid, dust, foam, or vapor. Furthermore, guided wave radar technology has extreme operating capabilities and performs well under extreme temperature. And it is capable of withstanding pressures up to 580 psig. Last but not the least, guided wave radar level transmitter performs well in difficult applications such as fine powders and sticky fluids. Some applications that GWR commonly used in is paint, latex, animal fat, soybean oil, saw dust, carbon black, titanium tetrachloride, salt, and grain to name a few. In this section, I am going to explain, how non-contact type radar level transmitter works. Non-contact type radar level transmitter works on time of flight measuring principle or time domain reflectometry principle. This type of transmitter sends high frequency radar pulse that traveling at the speed of light towards the bottom of the tank, and bounces of the product surface and return to the sensor. And the transmitter's microprocessor measures the time delay between the transmitted and received echo signal, and calculates the distance to the liquid surface using following formula. Distance is equal to, speed of light multiply with time delay, divided by 2. Radar level measurement is highly dependent on dielectric constant of a liquid, as it has direct impact on quality of reflections. In fact, liquids with high dielectric constant values will reflect strong and clear pulses. On the flip side, liquids with low dielectric constant values will absorb more of the pulse, reflecting less and reducing accurate reading. Non-contact radar level transmitters typical applications include corrosive or non-corrosive liquid level monitoring, sanitary environments, caustics, small tank or process vessel, silos, and tote tanks. Now, here are the few of the advantages of non-contact radar level measurement. Firstly, pulse radar transmitters are able to accurately measure both liquid and solid media. And they are very cost-efficient and easy to use. And secondly, since the probe doesn't need to come in contact with the media, it is great for industries such as food and beverages, medical, chemical and petrochemical, and oil and gas industries. Now, 
In last part of this video, I will do comparison of both technology to get clear understandings. Firstly, guided wave radar technology use high frequency radar impulses for level measurement. On the other side, non-contact radar level technology use microwave pulses for level measurement. Secondly, guided wave radar is contact type level measurement technique. On the other side, pulse radar is non-contact level measurement technique. In addition to this, guided wave radar level measurement does not affect by extreme temperature and pressure. On the other side, airspace determines measurement accuracy of pulse radar level measurement. And it is not ideal for extremely difficult applications. Fourth point is, guided wave radar is mounted on the top of the tank. And it is not ideal if there is a mixer or other obstacles in the tank. On the other side, pulse radar is also mounted on the top of tank. And it is also not ideal if there is a mixer or other obstacles in the tank. On the price perspective, guided wave radar is moderately priced. However, pulse radar is very cost effective. And last but not the least, performance perspective, guided wave is exceptional, and performs well and independent of process conditions. On the other side, pulse radar technology's performance depends on strength of reflections, and surface conditions. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.